In this video, we will be exploring one of the best day trips from Manchester city centre. In less than half an hour, you can be in one of the most loved national parks in the country, the Peak District. It is the perfect destination for a wholesome day out escape in the city and filling your lungs with that country air. We head to Edel in this video, as it's home to one of the most famous walks, epic, epic views, and the best pub grub to finish off your day. Who was right? So you've got to look out for the side. So who was right? You were right. All right, good morning guys. We are just getting ready to head out the door to go on our nice little wholesome walk out of the city in beautiful January at 7 a.m. on a Sunday. Just what everybody wants to do. Get up at 7 a.m. in January and go on a walk. But it will be really good. Nah, I'm only joking, it will be will be really good. We've not been to the Peak District for about a year now and our walking boots also haven't been got out of the shed for about a year. So we're about to go and discover them. Yeah, we're anticipating a dead rat in the shoe. But let's go and have a look, shall we? And head off to the train station. Here they are in all their glory with two-year-old Buddha. No dead rat in that one. And no dead rat in that one. The barbecue sauce in one. Ugh. Genuinely, this has happened, right? I just went to put this on and there's a barbecue sauce in it. I, I don't know. McDonald's? Yeah. We must have got a McDonald's on the train on the way home one day and like just put everything in the bag. That's actually disgusting. I don't know why we're getting it on film. Because it makes us look like mingers. We are mingers, that's why. Alright. And time to go. Let's go. So our train has just been cancelled. <laughs> so we're going back home and we'll see you in an hour. One hour later. Round two, off we go to the train station. Hopefully we've got better luck next time and it won't get cancelled. Yeah. <laughs> If you are coming into the Peak District from Manchester, it's so easy, you just jump on any train to Sheffield, which are, I think they're once an hour and they cost about eight quid. And you've got really, really good views as you drive. Do you drive on a train? As you drive through the Hope Valley. So it's so easy to get there. But anyway, we've landed in Edale now, which is our favorite place in the Peak District and our destination for today. It took about 40 minutes to get ahead, didn't it? It did. Yep. Do you know what, right? Haven't been out in the countryside like this for so long from Manchester and it feels so good, doesn't it, Gaz? It does, although I miss the polluted air in my lungs. <laughs> All of that city high rises and the bustling atmosphere just makes you feel happy. It does, it does. And cold, but apart from that, happy. What way is it? Yeah, right, right, not left. We've just had a row for how long? Because Abby, oh, you always do this. You don't know the directions. He doesn't. He always says trust went, it, don't Abby, you? it's to the right. She's like, no, it's left. No. What way was it? It is to the right, yeah. So who was right? So you've got to look out for the signpost. So who was right? You were right, and it is right. You've got to look out for the signpost saying Holland's Cross along the main road when you get out of Edale. Yeah, listen to that. On the right, though. Oh, so muddy. What is? Good morning, <laughs> So we've arrived, we're at the bottom of our walk and the plan for today was to get to Edel, which is our favourite place in the Peak District because from there you've got two options, you can either go up to Mam Tor or you can go and explore Kinder Scout, which is that way, Mam Tor or Kinder Scout that way. So we're going to do the Mum Tor walk today which is one of the most popular walks in the Peak District because it's a bit shorter, family friendly and you get some epic views at the top. You do get some pretty good views. Yeah, unreal. And then we're going to head down and go to our favourite pub for a nice little pub lunch so it's going to be really, really good. So we've just stopped on a little flat bit of land near the farm just at the bottom because we've got a DJI Mini 2 for Christmas and we've never flown it before so we thought the perfect place to come try it would be the Peach District with the epic views, nothing around. So let's see how easy it is actually to fly this drone. We have no idea. Gaz is the one in charge so from now on if we ever get crap drone shots you've got him to blame because I do all the rest of the uh, recording. <laughs> Watch us break it in the first five seconds. I'm just laughing it's gonna go shoop and just hit like just bloody flop onto the floor. Hit me in the head or something. Yeah. There we go look. Look at that. Whoa! That's good, isn't it? Pop 
that in there. Uh. Well, careful, careful, careful. You don't even know how to fly it, so be careful. <laughs> the pure joy in your eyes there. Is it fun? Yeah, but I don't know what to do with it. And here is the most amateur drone footage you will ever witness. Gaz did fly it a few more times, but obviously didn't press record because it's Gaz. Who doesn't love some aerial shots of fields anyway? Let's hope he improves when he actually reads the instruction manual. Anyway, the winds are pretty intense, so we cut it short there. Better to be safe than sorry. We didn't get very many good shots because Gaz didn't click record. <laughs> but if you were to say, how did you find that? Yeah, it's fine. The only thing is that it's quite windy here in the Peak District. I'd say, I'd say I'm a strong eight out of ten drone driver. Oh, you've literally done it two minutes. Nah, it was fun. We just, just need to get used to it, like how to make it look good, because I'm sure Abby's going to insert the 20 second clip which was at a weird angle so it's a bit of a shite clip but yeah we just need to play around with it don't we yeah exactly anyway we're now heading up mum tour via holland's cross which actually has a very interesting story about it back in the olden days edel didn't have a church so they used to carry coffins up and over to castleton to be able to bury dead bodies and they did it via this holland's cross and the reason why it's called Holland's Cross is because it used to have, well obviously it's a crossing, but also it used to have a cross at the top to sign the top of the hill for them to go down. That's like. actually well interesting and you just told me that 10 minutes ago, I didn't even know that. Yeah, fun facts for you there. Knowledge bombs by Abby today. Yeah, you've, I've got a few more in the bank guys. It's bloody freezing. God, we're bloody knackered walking up here. Imagine carrying a coffin up here, just one person dragging it up. <laughs> Yeah. It's so steep, isn't it? I know, yeah. And obviously this path probably wasn't here as well, so it would have been pretty hard to drag the coffin up here. Yeah. Depending on who it was. So I just came up here, Collins Cross. It's right there. This way. So, after about half an hour walking up, it's not, not too tough of a walk, and it's quite enjoyable. There's lovely views each side. We made it to Holland's Cross. And instead of going right to Mam Tor, which we usually do, we're gonna actually walk along the ridge to Loose Hill. So we have never done that before, have we? No, we haven't actually. Because we're always like, oh, we can't be bothered. <laughs> but like today, we're actually feeling it. It's January. We're feeling good, fresh. revitalized, fresh. And we are gonna make it across the ridge, aren't we? To yeah. Loose Hill. So it's exactly three kilometers from Loose Hill to Mam Tor, but obviously we're going to Loose Hill and then back on ourselves. This is currently back tour that we're walking up and it's very steep with lots of fallen rocks. Whoops. Uh, it's very wet. After about an hour of walking along the ridge, we have made it to Which Although is, it didn't which look is very really loose, good did though. It? Oh, sorry, go on. No, it was really good. Extremely windy. Like, I'm not even joking, you could fall over. Yeah, I just saying it's good because we've been to the Peak District a few times and we've always just gone to Mam Tor and back down. So it feels quite a good achievement to actually, you know, walk up and get there, doesn't it? Yeah, no, it was really good. It didn't look very loose though compared to Back Tor, looked like the loose hill to me. Yeah, but. they should change the names of them, shouldn't they? <laughs> I might write to the Peak District National Park and recommend it. Let them know, yeah. But anyway, we're heading back along now to Mam Tor, uh, which is the walk that we know quite well, but looping back on ourselves, I think it's about an hour back to Mam Tor, and then we're going to head down afterwards. But the views are pretty epic, yeah, as nice always. Views. Goes without saying. Yeah, of course. <laughs> Oh, 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 
Okay, fun fact number two from Abby today. So the nickname for Mamtor is the Shivering Mountain or Shivering Hill. And that's because all of the rocks fall down basically from the top of the mountain. But there used to be a road here and the road has been like destroyed by all of the falling rocks. They've stopped maintaining the road, which is actually really interesting to walk up. And now it's like kind of like a feature of the walk of Mamtor if you come from Castleton. So you should call it the Windy Mountain. But it looks really cool. Hill. The Windy Hill, yes. Nearly there. Nearly there. Tough, isn't it? Down this way, look. Oh, okay. We're just making our own rules today on the path on the way down, just finding an area, walking down it, but Mum toward the top. Epic, epic views, guys. Never underestimate the Peak District's weather, that's all I can say. Are you glad, we, are you glad we've done it though? Because we was thinking of bailing. Yeah, no, I am glad. It's been so nice to get like some country air in the lungs, as people say, and getting out the city. We're heading back down now to go to our favorite pub, some really good grub. So we won't film too much on the way down because you've seen enough of the views, but we'll catch up with you in Edale. Right, we are just heading to the Ramblers Inn now and I am bloody starving. So it's right next to the train station. We think it's the only pub in Edale, but we always go there because it's got really nice views out into the countryside. It does, um, the menu is unreal and it's just basically a top notch pub, pub exactly what you need after a country walk. So. Obviously on a Sunday as well, what's better than a walk than a Sunday roast? Oh God, we can't wait. We've literally all been, just been talking about gravy for the past half an hour. How I'm good not is joking. gravy? Gravy is the best. Yeah, the sick. thicker the better though, if it's thin. Cancelled. Unless it's a you. Yeah. Like a you can be thick. Yeah. Anyway. Well, we'll judge it's gravy when we get there, but we can't wait to get in there. Let's hope there's a table. <laughs> okay, so we're in the Ramblers Inn. I've got myself a roast dinner and they've done gluten free Yorkshire puddings and it looks amazing. Extra jug of gravy as well, so top notch. Gaz has got himself a. I've got chicken pie, chunky chips, mushy peas, and gravy. So uh, my mouth's like dribbling, waiting to eat it. Prime pub grub, like it looks unreal. It's very busy in here, but we managed to grab a table. I don't think it's too hard to get a table, and it's like typical pub vibes. There's a roaring fire. Very, very nice, but we need to dig into this now. I can't believe I got Yorkshire pudding. I never get Yorkshire pudding. Do you not? Go on then, take a bite. I'm a bit jealous actually. Yeah, this looks like a really good roast actually, like one of the best. There's so much food here as well. God. Oh, you see as you lose, mate. Don't even know where to start. I reckon start with your key. Yeah. So we finished up at the Ramblers Inn. Absolutely top tier. It, it, hit the, it hit the spot and back again. Yeah, so it was around 13 pound for a roast dinner, 14 pound for the shot of crisp pastry. So we've worked out that you could do this whole day trip for less than 25 quid per person, including the train. So it's so well worth it. Anyway, we've had a really good day. What a bloody great day. Yeah. Wholesome January day out from Manchester. Yeah, perfect. Anyway, get on the train, make sure you give us a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, and we'll see you next week. Bye.